whether doing it as part of scheduled maintenance or most definitely if it's a brand new mower you had just purchased. Setting up the deck height and balance is critical to the efficient grass cutting operation of this 100 series mower. It's also important that the wheels be set up after it's determined what your grass cutting height is going to be. So we're going to accomplish this task today. Let's get started. Ensure the parking brake is on before attempting this operation. We have a setup point over here, back here, and up front. And this has to be done. And if you got this at a big box store and they told you they set it up right, I'm telling you that it's not. And they're not entirely at fault. I'm going to explain why they're not entirely at fault, but I'm going to show you why you absolutely have to do this step. And this is especially true in warmer climates where I live. So we're going to go through this from start to finish to ensure that the deck is set up properly. There's an instruction in the book, but I already see a typo calling out three blocks in three locations. It only shows an arrow for two of those locations and specifically calls out the checking of the third location for which there's no block for. Common sense tells us where that third block should go. Every 100 series mower will be set to the 2 inch position except for the 130 series. The manual specifically says that the 130 model should be moved into the 2 and a quarter position. So I'm just bringing it down to the exact notch of 2 then up to a quarter. I'm going to need 3 wooden blocks that are exactly 2 inches. So I'm taking a piece of lumber that I have from the shed and I'm just going to cut 3 wooden blocks. Then verify each of them with calibers before continuing on. Here's where we see our first issue. You absolutely must have the correct tire pressure before conducting this operation. As we look down at the gauge, where we expect to see 14 PSI on this tire, we're seeing 18 PSI. We're now back down to 14 PSI. We measure the next front tire, again the same over inflation of 18 PSI. Moving to the back tires, it's significantly worse. We're seeing 22 pounds, we should only be seeing 10. And the reason is they're building these things in air conditioned warehouses. And now that these are coming outside, the pressure in the tire is expanding due to the significantly warmer outdoor temperature. Again, 22 matches last side. With the tires now corrected, we know any adjustments or calibrations made to the deck as it was built is now going to be incorrect. These wooden blocks are supposed to just drag under the correct test locations. We can see that the deck is way too low. This is the first location as specified in the manual on the left hand side. I'm going to use a 15 mil ratcheting wrench for this task. And I'll be turning counterclockwise to raise the deck. Still doesn't fit yet, we'll go a couple more turns. And now it fits under, that was a substantial adjustment. I move this out of the way for easier viewing. You can see this side is just a little low to clear the block, we're going to have to raise this side too. Now this side is good, but I'll tell you that adjusting one side has an impact on the other. So I'm going to have to now go back to the other side and do a fine adjustment. So we can see this side got tighter. And while we do have to keep going back and forth to adjust, we find that each time we do it, the adjustments are just less and less each time. So I'm only turning it a couple times now to get this thing good again. And again, this is going to have an effect on the other side. So I'm going to go back to the other side again. This is looking good. I'm back off to the other side to see how that one turned out. Look at this now. We're seeing now the adjustments required are minute, maybe just a couple of clicks, if any. It fits, but I, the drag is just a little too strong. Give it a couple turns and that's it. Yeah, that's just perfect right there. The other side didn't need any subsequent adjustments at that point, so I'm going to make my way to the middle now. I'm going to put it right here, right under the adjuster. And you can see, obviously, it's way too low. So I'm going to start raising it right here at this point using the same size wrench. So I'm just going to keep turning it until I could fit the block under. So 
It's not there yet. It'll need a little bit more. And there it is right there, but it can influence the back too, so the back too will need to be reinspected. This one will actually need to come down a smidge, so I'll do that now. So now we have the front done and the left done. The right side I ended up bringing up just a hair. Final two inch block inspection as I remove them. This is center front. Nice and easy. This is back right. Nice and easy. And this is back left. Everything perfectly leveled at this moment. I'll now remove the three two inch blocks. The deck is actually designed to have a couple of degrees of forward attack. So once it's perfectly leveled, what we're supposed to do is take it and turn this screw one and a half turns to lower it downward. So we're going to do that now. quarter, half, three quarter, one, quarter, half. The leveling portion is all done. All we have to do is the wheels. If you just got this mower from a big box store, the wheels are guaranteed not set up because nobody knows how high your grass is supposed to be. These wheels protect both your grass and the deck. If you've never set it up, I can guarantee you the store didn't. It's not set up right. Now's a good time to set it up. The instructions are straightforward. Since I want to try my grass from the longest setting to the shortest setting, I want to start with three inches and above. That setting D is indicated in the diagram. Mine came from the store on setting A, which I know to be wrong, one and a half inches or less. So I'm going to take off the wheels one by one and move them to setting D. This again uses the 15 millimeter wrenches. I got two of them. In retrospect, this would have been a lot easier with ratchet. And we'll move it right here to the bottom one that's slot D. And right back on. This wheel position allow me anywhere between three and four inches. If I go any lower, I'll have to go back and readjust that wheel. I hope you enjoyed this video on this important maintenance step for your 100 series John Deere tractor. Hit that like and subscribe button down below. Helps me out a lot when you do. Let you know when more videos come out. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?